Well, this is one of my favorite times of the NFL year because you start to hear all these stories about how this player and that player and that player are all linked to the Ravens, that the Ravens are going to consider signing them, that the Ravens might be interested in signing this and that player, uh, all to just get to free agency. And you see a lot of those links, the players that the Ravens are linked to, those links become broken. But anyway, another story that has been going around for about a week or so. Um, has been linking Saquon Barkley to the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Bleacher Report, they talked about it. Of course, BaltimoreRavens.com in their Late for Work article today, they spoke about it as well. Um, and Saquon Barkley to the Ravens, that'd be obviously be a nice pickup if he's healthy. Um, but I'm going to give you a few reasons why it just does not make sense. Now, Y'all know me. I'm all with the, the fantasy GM, the Madden trades, the signing this guy, that guy in the third. And I still feel like, hey, the cap is cap. Oh, we ain't forget, baby. And for any team, if you really want somebody, there are so many ways to make it happen. But anyway, we could talk about that another day. But with Saquon Barkley specifically, I'm going to let you know why it just does not make sense for the Ravens. First, we're going to talk about money. Let's get that out of the way. Because that's that's actually the the, the le least reason for me. Uh, that's, that's the least reason of importance on this list. Uh, with money, he is, it's the fifth year option time. And that fifth year option is all guaranteed. So for the Ravens, you think they want to pick up a fifth year option for Saquon Barkley? And they got a JK and they got a Gus Edwards? You think they want to pick up a fifth year option for Saquon no, of course not. But then, speaking of money and speaking of capital, how would you acquire one Saquon Barkley? And after Giants cut him and they sniffed around like, okay, cool. Shout out to the Ravens being like the rock. You smell what the Ravens are cooking. Well, we will see. But if the Giants were just trying to trade him, oh, no. Because I would think that if they were trying to come, off, come up off of Saquon Barkley, then they would want at least a first or a second. A second at the least. I don't think a third or anything after that that the Giants would even be listening. Um, so the Ravens, in order to acquire one Saquon Barkley, if, if he's going to remain on the contract that he's on with the Giants, then you would have to give up some significant draft capital. So basically, that's a no-no for the Ravens because they, they want all the draft capital. They don't want to give it up. They want to keep it. Uh, but with Saquon Barkley, if he was cut... He would have a lot of suitors, and Ravens could be one of those suitors, but you know that it would be so easy for another team to outbid them. But, so, okay, we talked about the money part and the capital part. That's out the window. Like I said, that part is the, the least important on my list of concerns why this move just does not make sense for the Ravens. So, this reason is important to me. You have J.K. Dobbins. You have Gus Edwards. Both of those running backs are coming off of significant season-ending injuries. If you were to add a Saquon Barkley to the mix, he'd be nice! And like my guy Yuri brought out a really good point, Saquon Barkley has never had an offensive line like he could possibly have with the Ravens. He, he's never been in a running game like he would have with the Ravens. Think about that. Like, you obviously got Lamar Jackson, who's a threat on any single play. And then you add a Saquon Barkley next to him. Ooh, that would be beautiful. But with Saquon Barkley, just like our other two running backs, or actually other three running backs with Justice Hill too, he's coming off of a season-ending significant injury. So what I mean when I say that is that you have these guys who are expected to be back, are expected to come back, but you don't know how they're going to be when they get back. And, of course, you want them and expect them and hope that they are even better than they were before. You hope that their bodies are even stronger than they were before. But you just don't know if they're going to be how they were before. It wouldn't make sense for the Baltimore Ravens to add a high-priced running back to the mix who's in the same situation as the running backs that they already have in the mix. It just, it wouldn't be smart business. We know Saquon Barkley is an amazing player. We know everything that he's capable of. But he was even injured last year and then came back last year and then got hurt again. 
So you just, you, you, I, it would not be worth it to even run that risk, in my opinion. Only because that risk has so much financial, it's it just so much financial risk in it. And it just wouldn't be worth it. Now, um, the bigger reason, the biggest reason, in my opinion, that Saquon Barkley, it, it just would not be a good move if the Ravens did that. Um, for Ravens, we know that the Ravens, they know how to run the ball. We know these guys are capable of running the ball. Uh, they run it with J.K., with Gus, with Lamar, uh, with Devontae Freeman. He was even looking better toward the end of the year. Latavius Murray. Uh, not Tyson Williams, unfortunately, but that's a whole nother story. But we know that they love and they know how to run that football. They certainly do. But our concern as Ravens fans and for Ravens front office should be and still is how much more can they advance in the passing game? Now, Throughout the beginning of the last season, we saw a lot of advancements. We saw so many. We, we saw this team moving forward through the air. And we were like, oh, okay, let's get it. It did come with some growing pains here and there. And they still got stuff to work on. But we did see significant progress for the Baltimore Ravens in the passing game. And that's something that we have been asking for for a while. And we were starting to get it. But if you add a Saquon Barkley to a J.K. Dobbins and to a Gus Edwards, they're not going to just be like, all right, Saquon, you get two carries. All right, J.K., you get three. All right, Gus, you get four. No. They, they are really going to force feed Saquon Barkley. They, they're going to because they would have acquired him and have given up a significant amount of salary cap or draft capital or whatever to get him. So he ain't going to just be sitting on the sideline. But then again, you still got your other two running backs too. And if you remember, if I take you back to 2020, if I take you back to the 2020 season, the beginning of it, well, we had a Mark Ingram, we had a Gus Edwards, we had a J.K. Dobbins. I remember me personally, and I'm sure a lot of y'all went through the same thing too. We'd be watching the games. All right, Gus doing his thing. All right, Gus, let's go. Okay, Gus Edwards, yeah, he breaking tackles, running over people. Okay, yeah, keep feeding Gus. Gus the bus. Then you see Mark Ingram come on the field. It's like, hold up. Now, we love Mark Ingram. We do. But why did they take Gus Edwards off the field? Why did they take the hot hand off the field? Now, we found out in the long term that that was probably a business move by the Ravens with Gus Edwards so they could keep him for cheap. But we could talk about that another time. But with J.K. Dobbins, this rookie, rookie running back, it's like, all right, oh, J.K. Dobbins, oh, man, this dude got a 20-yard run. Oh, 15-yard run. Whoa, look at how he kept his balance. Woo, if that ain't Ray Rice, I don't know who it is. Let's go, J.K. And then the Ravens would be like, no, J.K., get off the field. Let's bring on Mark Ingram. And this is not to take a shot at Mark Ingram, so don't take it like that. But my point is that since the Ravens did have three capable running backs, even though the other two were hot, they still had one that they were paying the most money to, and they continued to force feed him out there when he really shouldn't have been. J.K. had been hot. They took him off for Mark Ingram. Gus had been hot. They took him off for Mark Ingram. If Saquon is in on the Ravens, he is going to be on that field a lot. And not that him being on the field is a bad thing, but they would try to feed everybody and try to keep everybody happy since you have so many mouths to feed at running back and you know they're a running team. So I feel like that could have a negative impact on the passing game. I really do. Now, if this was flipped, in my opinion, because, you know, Saquon Barkley is that dude at running back. He's not just another guy. If this was flipped, though, and it was a wide receiver and the Ravens would get that guy at wide receiver. Oh, I would love it. I would love if they did that because you have two first round picks right now. You got Hollywood and Rashad Bateman. But if you get somebody who is that guy at wide receiver, and this is not a shot at Devin Duvernay, at James Prochet, at Tylen Wallace, at Miles Boykin. It's not a shot at them. But the Ravens, they're not invested in those guys like that, and you know it. 
You know they're not. Since all of those guys were third round picks or later, they're not invested in them like that. But with Rashad and Hollywood, they invested in them. So they are going to get their opportunities. But now if the Ravens were in this predicament and there was somebody who was that guy at wide receiver and was really like that at wide receiver. Oh, yeah. Ravens linked to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bring them on for sure. Oh, let's get it. Because that would be something to advance the Ravens passing game. And that's been the Ravens' biggest issue for the longest, the passing game. We f know with the running back, you f we feel like, all right, J.K. is healthy, Gus is healthy. If our offensive line is straight, that's the first and foremost thing. If our offensive line is good, even decent, all right, running game going to be straight. But especially if we get them boys back healthy. And then whoever else they add to the mix, whether they keep Devontae Freeman, they draft somebody, they actually decided to use Tyson Williams, whatever they ended up doing. We know the running game is going to be straight. But again, biggest concern for me is the passing game. That's what it is. It's the passing game. And if, if you can spoil Lamar Jackson with riches in the passing game, first, the offensive line obviously got to be right. But to have Hollywood and Rashad Bateman and Mark Andrews and, and then you get somebody else to the mix, like that's that dude again. Somebody that they would really be invested in like that. I would be all for it. But. That's not who this link is about. This link is about Saquon Barkley and them adding a the running back to the mix. So, no, nah, this is uh, it's one of those things that doesn't need to happen. It's, it's probably not going to happen. Like 9.9999999 times out of 10, this move is not going to go down. Uh, but it's always fun to talk about, right? It is. So we'll see. Uh, when does free agency start? I think like on March 18th, something like that. I got to look up the exact date to see. But it's coming up. February going by fast, man. This month flew by like crazy. Um, question from subscribers. We got a lot. We are so backed up on question from subscribers. So if you haven't seen your question, please be patient. Please. Please. It takes time. <laughs> it's just like it, it really does takes time please be patient we have a so many emails and we keep getting more it takes a lot of time so please bear with me please but anyway i love y'all i appreciate y'all hey I, I love saquon barkley too and i i wouldn't mind him being on it but again it's just it's it's a lot deeper than just oh yeah he's a nice running back he'd be nice behind this Ravens offensive line and on this offense it's a lot deeper than that for me like I said especially when it comes to the passing game so anyway appreciate y'all y'all stay up hope everything is going good for y'all uh, and like Saquon Barkley might be when it comes to being with the Giants sooner or later I'm out.